Hello and welcome to the Weight Free Wellness Podcast. I'm Tara Bachland and this is episode number 30. What can you do about it? What is it, right? Well, you know, I ask this, what can you do? Because I ask myself this when I feel stuck, when I feel that there are no more options, and especially when I'm feeling sorry for myself. And this could be in many situations. You know, it comes up in life in general or even specifically in health. You know those times when you feel that you're being challenged from all angles and by every situation in your life? When you feel pinned in a corner? It's at these times when you must stick up for yourself. Dig deep. Get up and get going. Or keep going, for that matter. Ask yourself, what can I do? This game of life can be so challenging at times, but don't let it get you down. Get a piece of paper and pen. Yes, I'm encouraging you to do this the old-fashioned way. Putting pen to paper makes it more real because we're looking for real solutions here. When we're up against a wall and feel defeated, we naturally just see what doesn't work and what isn't working. So this is the idea. We want to look for what, what can work. So if you feel stuck when you're doing this, call a friend. Ask their perspective and what they think our options. It's it's amazing, you know, when we get this perspective, uh, when we're stuck in our situation, we only have a certain perspective. But when we open up to others, we can really see that there are other solutions. But something that may come up when you get these other solutions, the reason why you don't see these things as solutions are because you, you have resistance. And um, it may be very valid to you. Still write down the option that your friend mentions or maybe you think of but you just know you're resisting and also write down your resistance or opposition as well as the option. Then choose one thing you will do to change your situation and stick with it. You know, it could be easy to say, well, I'm going to do this and then you just do it for a couple days. But the main thing is you've got to stick with it. And keep adding to your list of what you can do about your situation and continue implementing the solutions. Remember, you can, and this is really important, it's easy to start building a list of all the things that need to change around you, right? Because it seems like it's these other things that are pressing upon you. But remember, you can only change yourself. So let this list be about you and things that you can do to improve your situation. See the possibilities. You'll be amazed by how your perspective shifts, the options that come to you. Write them all down, even even the seemingly insignificant ones like, I can smile, I can breathe, or I can change my mind. They may seem so small and insignificant, but when you, the more you keep saying, I can, I can, I can, it just keeps priming the pump even more and gets that flow going. And here's a great quote, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And some of you probably recognize that's Wayne Dyer. When you start thinking you can, you can. Like the little engine that could, soon enough you will know that you can. Yeah, I know it sounds simplistic, but think of the times in your life when this has been true. What have you learned or overcome because you believed you could and, st- and you stuck with it. Just think of some examples. It really helps you to get in that mindset of, oh yeah, I've done this before. And whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. And that was Henry Ford, who definitely proved that many things were possible. So if, just if, every thought you thought came true, just imagine, which thoughts would you change? I bet you would choose to think the thoughts of what you want in your life and for your health, not what you don't want, right? Notice how just thinking about what is possible changes how you feel. You feel better, which seems to open you up for more solutions. Find examples of people who have overcome. A very good story can lift the spirits and provide wisdom and guidance. Check out the success stories at weightfreewellness.com. I'm always seeking 
stories of people who have overcome illness, who have had great successes in different areas of life and wellness. And not just the success stories, you know, of I'm going to sell you this product kind of thing, but the success stories of people who are like, I, I overcame this and it was just a, a, a really difficult uh, aspect in life that they overcame. So definitely check those out. That's in the, in the archive. You can look for success stories at weightfreewellness.com and also search online. Just put in the, the search engine success story and whatever is ailing you or whatever is troubling you and look for inspiration that way too. It helps to see and hear stories of people who have overcome even the most difficult situations that can just start to trigger in our minds that it's possible for us too. And last of all, but not least, of course, is connect. Stay connected with people and resources that uplift, support, and guide you in the direction you want to go. We all need support at times. Connecting to this support is one way that you can support yourself and keep finding all those things that you can do to support yourself. I wish you well. Thank you for listening to this Weight-Free Wellness Podcast. Until next time.